Now we've seen the, the advent, of course, then of Iron Man. It's become very popular, particularly in South Africa. What are you doing personally to sort of promote and develop triathlon, duathlon, and Iron Man in the region? Um, well, yeah, I think you know, I think one of the big one is obviously inspiring the youth, and uh, you know, being at events like this, you know, I could have been at home hiding uh, away, feeling sorry for myself, but it's uh, you know, it's important for me to get out here and to, to show my face and to get involved. And uh, on, on on Saturday, I'll be helping out with the kids a little bit in the Discovery Duathlon. Um, which is, you know, I started doing duathlon, so it's something quite close to my heart as well. And, uh, you know, on Sunday, I'm, I'm trying to do a tiny bit of commentary, so get involved in the race and, and give back a tiny bit, you know, where I can. And obviously, you know, it's, it's very important for the, for the event to, you know, be held here. There were a few speculations where it wouldn't actually go on this year, which was, you know, for me, quite, quite I didn't enjoy seeing that. So I'm, I'm glad it is here again this year. And, uh, you know, there's people from all over the world that fly in to race, um, both age groupers and elites, and uh, they have team, they have school events, parts which is I think the only one in the world uh, where they have you know kids and, and schools involved um, so you know, it's a different aspect which is great into it and it's obviously that part of it is bringing the people um, in young to the sport and showing them you know there's, there are different different sports out there to compete in and to try to sort of grow grow the discipline uh, through the rest of Africa what would you say is say is the appeal I mean it is quite a niche sport what is the appeal of triathlon for someone who's you know never done it I think you know it's uh, I think the big exciting thing is it's something different um, you know a lot of people grew up doing uh, certain sports at school and those are the only sports that are available so you know having something different and exciting you know a lot of people you know even dare each other to get into it and to try it and they say you know I, don't, I wonder if I'm capable of doing that you know I wonder if my body can do that and I think that's the the challenge that makes it exciting and makes it uh, you know something worth trying and uh, you know I've had a couple of friends of mine that uh, uh, you know, have, have done away with going out partying and drinking and smoking and they've started triathlon, they've lost weight, uh, obviously they've, they're have they feeling better and they're feeling more motivated to get out there and, and to just live and I think, you know, that's part of the sport which brings, you know, people together and uh, obviously you can mix it up so you have s swimming, cycling and running so it's quite difficult to get boring, you know, get bored when, you know, every weekend there's from a mountain bike race to a swimming race to a running race and I think having that obviously spectrum of different sports gives you more opportunities and you can have more fun from that. Is there a certain body type that suits the sport the best? I mean, does size matter in triathlon? Um, you know, I don't think so, you know. Uh, someone that, you know, has a little bit more on the sides is going to be a better swimmer and, and suffer more on the running and, you know, vice versa. If you have, if you're, you know, a lighter body type, you're going to suffer more in the swimming and, and you'll run better. So, you know, I think there's, there's no, you know, specific body type, uh, but I think the good thing about triathlon is the overall body working. So obviously, uh, it's aerobic and it's very cardio involved. Um, so you know, there's less impact and stuff. Uh, there are some lower leg things when people start getting into the sport that they need to you know take care of and they need to maintain their bodies. Um, so you know, it's definitely important to make sure that you're looking after yourself and uh, you know just getting out there and having some fun. I think that's the big message really. So final question, second last triathlon, I believe, where you can score points towards the Olympics. So super competitive it will no doubt be this weekend. How is the potential sort of South African triathlon team looking? And fingers crossed you are obviously part of that. Um, yeah, well, you know, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty lucky to have uh, qualified last year in the, the Rio test event uh, where I came third, which was, you know, the, a weight lifted. I only realized after the event that I qualified, which was, which was nice. And, uh, you know, definitely South Africa is heading for um, the possibility of having three slots. Um, so obviously there's eight countries uh, that can have the opportunity of having three slots. Uh, the rest have two and then some only have one um, re representing their country. Um, and that obviously goes on points regarding of the Olympic rankings. So all these events, you accumulate points and those points they dictate to which countries have how many slots of people racing. Mm. And uh, so South Africa is, you know, in a big vying position now with Mexico and Germany. And uh, Vian Suvold is actually the athlete that, uh, you know, needs to do well to actually, uh, you know, secure a third slot for South Africa um, in the triathlon event. Um, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of weights on his shoulders to make sure that he does well. And, uh, you know, he's had a few niggles and problems along the way. So, you know, I definitely, you know, hope all the best for him and, uh, you know, for, for the sport and for the country. It it's helps promotion of this three athletes uh, taking part in the Olympics versus two.